Hey guys, this is Extra Skier again, and today we're going to be going over transaction tracking. Basically how to keep a, more or less a good eye on your Bitcoin. And this is one of the sites that I actually prefer to use. It's uh, blockchain.info. I'll go ahead and post the link to the site in the information. But as you can see right here, it's actually processing a whole bunch of different transactions. Whenever you do your, your own transaction, whether it be from one wallet to another or an exchange to a wallet, it'll actually give you a large transaction code. And this is basically it right here. And you can just come in here and actually put it into the search and it'll bring it up and it'll give you all the information right here as to how many confirms it's had, you know, what the uh, total amount should be. And it's actually a little bit better to sometimes track it down by your individual address. And the only reason I say that is because, if you noticed whenever I, I did this one, the large code right here, it brought up a whole bunch of individual transactions, and you'd have to sit there and look for your own. Well, instead if you just put in your address, it'll take you to that transaction itself. Then it'll let you know, hey, it's tied to this right here. And the reason that it might be tied to this is um, that's how some of these exchanges work. They'll actually tie in, you know, about five to ten different withdrawals at the same time and just shoot them out, and it'll have all the different addresses, including yours, and then, of course, whatever amount you might have. But there's also other things on here you can actually go and look at. You can actually go to the currency stats and see all the statistics right here. And this is just for the site. You can actually start your own wallet on here, but I, I don't know how to feel about that. I want to test it out first before I even suggest anybody trying it. And the reason for that, it's once you sign up, um... Right here it says, don't forget your password. If you forget your password, it's basically gone. So that kind of makes me a little bit hesitant. I don't want to put Bitcoins here and then, you know, end up forgetting like a 30 character password and all my Bitcoins are gone. And so uh, I still use, of course, uh, Coinbase. They seem to be doing really well. But that's really about it, guys. If, um, again, if you're trying to keep track of your transaction, get your transaction code or just use the address that you need to withdraw or to deposit I'm sorry um, come in here drop it into the search and that's it really simple it'll bring up all the information for you I'm going to try and click on these so many transactions going by so quickly and there we go but yeah real simple alright guys enjoy